All right. What's up, guys? Going on? Camp out here, coming at you with another review. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, you can see there's an A6 box in front of me, so you know right off the bat that I'm a little late with my review, but whatever it is, what it is. This is highs and lows, 25th anniversary. Gel i 3 dubbed this silver screen. I got a little music playing too, so excuse that. Uh, basically, the shoe was designed after a theater or some kind of a theater that's in Australia. I don't, I, what is it, Mount Lawley or something like that? I can't, I can't think of the name of the place, but it, it, yeah, I think it's Mount Lawley, which is what where the theater's located or something like that. But anyway, it's an art deco theater, so it has a different nuance to it, which is cool. But that's where they got the idea for the shoe from, especially for Silver Screen. I saw like one of the pictures that they posted on their website or the blog or the shoe itself. Uh, actually has the colorways within the movie theater in it. Uh, I'll see if I can pull it off the website and put it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But other than that, Gel i3, you already know. Uh, materials on the shoe right off the bat are super fire. Uh, you can see a couple of stains that I have on it already. Uh, they passed through a couple of hands before they made it home, so I'm gonna have to do some clean work on these bad boys, especially since it's got that mint colorway. It shows everything. Start off with these extras. We got some extra laces in here right off the bat. Uh, these are wax flats with the uh, metal agalit on the tip there. Uh, one's the same color as the shoe with the mint, and the other is white. Obviously, you can see the color differentials. Or it's, it's more like a bone, I don't even know if it's white. But I guess because it's a wax flat, it has that, that different tint to it on the white. Anyway, shoe. Uh, new buck, toe box, super soft, creamy. It's probably one of the, uh, one of the better materials we've seen on a shoe this year, aside from like certain Ronnie stuff. But uh, what else, what else came out? Even the 25th anniversary from Boston, Concepts, uh, super buttery, super soft, but this is definitely a higher standard for quality on a shoe. I'll get into the reasons why in a couple seconds, but let's go through the details. So we went through the toe and the toe box. Uh, new buck, mint color, super soft. You get definitely have to protect this shoe. Uh, two hits of 3M on the wraparound on the toe box. Uh, white midsole to a translucent under, but we'll get into that in another second. Uh, premium leather. This is This is Mayan leather. I think they described it as... Uh, on their blog site. So the Mayan leather has a different feel, different cut, different texture to it. And I'll show you the texture differential in one second. So that wraps around from the eyelet area on both sides. I'll show the mirror side in a second. So obviously the wrap around from the, the tiger location. Inside the tiger location, you have a light mint colored striping and a 3M underlay. I don't know if you can see the 3M popping at all, but whatever, once again, pictures will be up. I promise I will put them up with the video. You have a, a leather effect like cracked paint underneath the uh, the ASICS logo, which is pretty dope. Wrap around to the heel, Mayan leather continues, and you could see the, the different press. So in the embossing of the Gel i3 here, you can see underneath, it, it looks like cleaner somewhat. That's the leather. That's not so much a dirty shoe, but that's the way the leather is handled or conditioned. You could see it a little bit more prevalent in the back here. I'll see if I can get, there you go. Let me see what I'm talking about try and get the focus on it. So you can see that the ASICS logo is a little lighter than the actual upper area of the leather. Dark finger is still in effect, hasn't grown out yet. Fucking shit. Uh, <laughs> the upper area is the, the, the Mayan leather. This is some kind of print. I think I have it. The, the logo is for, it's my, it says Mayan print detail. So maybe there's like a, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of signature or stamp that they put on mine leather products or whatever, but that's what this is. So that's pretty cool. So I always gotta do a little homework for this review stuff. Um, wrapping around to the inside of the shoe, it's mirrored as the outside, except for the color of the tiger striping. As you can see, it has that burgundy color to it. That's also another color that's in the theater. So that's where they pulled all of their colors from, which is pretty dope. I, I do like it. Um, wrapping into the lace area. So inside the, the, the shoe came these cotton kind of cheaper laces, but I do like the color of them. And I like the cotton and the way it pops sometimes. So I gotta leave it alone. You have that mine print again on the lace lock and the suede has to be given uh, an honorable mention. It is super, super soft, like amazing. The, the way it feels, I don't even want to wear this shoe because it feels so nice. You have the highs and lows embossed on the, um, the left side of the split tongue. That's on both shoes. I'll show the other shoe in a second if you really need to see it. But I'll put up a picture in the corner somewhere over here so you guys can get an idea. I'll do that for like some of the more detailed areas like the cracked leather. I'll put a picture up so you can see it. Uh, anyway, th this is super soft. The inside is all leather. 
once again, so I went a half a size down or true to size, which is um, a 10 and a half for me, which is my TTS. It has a leather interior, like I mentioned before, or in any other video where the, the inside is leather. I go true to size just because I don't want to, um, honestly, the leather is going to give one and two, it takes up a lot less room than per se, like material inside of a shoe. Cause it's a lot puffier when they do that. Anyway, uh, the footbed is a nylon polyester silkish. Uh, let me just take it out. It's a lot easier. Super dope on the detail once again. So they did 25 for the 25th anniversary highs and lows. You got that silver screen circle like the countdowns they used to do at the beginning of movies. I, I think they paid a lot of attention to detail in the shoe. Colorway a lot of people had a problem with but there's a lot of things aesthetically about this shoe that are amazing. Uh, definitely a contender for my top 10 this year considering I was on the fence about it for so long. But it it's it's a clean, 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 clean. I can't even express, express how clean this shoe is. Uh, one more thing on the bottom, like I kind of hinted at before, you have your translucent under, which is nice. I, I don't know what's underneath there. I don't know if it's some of the art deco from the theater, which is kind of what, if, if you see the picture, you get, it's not that good. And it's like, um, they watermarked the picture with the 25th anniversary, so you can't really see. Maybe I could find pictures of the theater itself. I don't know, but I'll, I'll try and look it up. If I could find something that, that renders something close to this, I'll tell you, or I'll put it up. And uh, I think someone said that it looks like popcorn. I don't see any kernels. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that would be the easiest answer, but considering the detail that's in the shoe and where they pull the idea from, I feel like it might be something a little bit more uh, theme-based than just popcorn. Like maybe there's marble on the floor in that theater or something like that. And that's what the marble looks like. Or maybe outside the theater, there's like some gravel work. I don't know, but it, it definitely it definitely begs the question that needs to be answered. So if I find something, I'm not gonna obviously talk about it because I'm just gonna go online and put this video out. But I'll see if there's anything that correlates to that within the blog. And if there is, I'm just gonna throw a picture up and be like, this is what the, the midsole is, what the translucent midsole is. Uh, shoot me a thumbs up because you know how I love those motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> Healing Souls this weekend, November 7th. If you guys want to donate a pair of shoes, an old pair of shoes, some money, whatever it is, uh, head over to at healingsouls.com. This weekend I will be at Concepts for their New York City Grand New York City Grand opening of the store. I don't know, whatever. However that works. Doing the camp out. They got four pairs of shoes coming out. Price points 130. Super dope. You can mix and match the pairs. So I'm kind of excited about that. Plus I'll be there with some force field product. Just uh, giving stuff away, doing some tests. Cause I, I think they, they sent me up some cleaner, but I'm waiting for some sprays to come too. Since it's not on the market yet, I figured I'd give you guys a go at it. So if you're out there, be on the lookout for that. I'll also be filming out there. Cause I want to add some more content. Like I've been saying to the channel and I figured this is a good event to do it at um comments questions or anything please hit me up i'm sure pictures will be flowing by this point so you don't have to watch my hands move around uh <laughs> in any case like i said pictures anything just uh let me know all right catch you guys later peace